We've now got official confirmation. Uh, Manchester United's game against Leeds at Old Trafford on Sunday has been postponed by the Premier League following concerns over policing because of the Queen's funeral that is taking place in London on Monday. I'm going to read through the official statements from the Premier League, the official statement from Manchester United, and I want to say a few things on this situation, which has happened over the last couple of weekends now with the Premier League following the death of Queen Elizabeth II. This is the official statement from the Premier League. So fixtures are to resume this weekend after a pause as a mark of respect following the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. You can see down there that there are three games being postponed. Chelsea's game against Liverpool at Stamford Bridge. United's game against Leeds. And Brighton and Hove, but that's got nothing to do with this. I think that's to do with train strikes. And this is what Manchester United's official statement says. Following extensive conversations with the Premier League, Greater Manchester Police and Trafford Council, the decision has been made to postpone Man United's Premier League fixture against Leeds, scheduled to take place at Old Trafford on Sunday. This is due to the Greater Manchester Police supporting forces across the United Kingdom at locations and events of high significance following the passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Now we know full well that's to do with the funeral that's taking place in London on Monday. Look, every single game in London apart from Chelsea against Liverpool at Stamford Bridge can go ahead. But the game between Manchester United and Leeds at Old Trafford on Sunday can't go ahead. You go back to the official Premier League statement here. What they've tried to do to try and, I suppose, reduce the impact is they've moved the Brentford game. The kickoff is now two hours earlier. Why is it that that could... It's weird. It's almost like we need more police in the country. Mm. Mm. Now, Jeremy Cross, who was the first to sort of um, come out with the fact that Leeds and United was going to get suspended, postponed, same thing. He's saying the issue is regarding the fact that it's a Category A game, which under normal, normal circumstances would require extra police. Now, I'm not sure what your reaction to this is in the comments, but of course, games on Thursday went ahead. Manchester United and Real Sociedad, there was a minute's silence before the game, and West Ham's game in the Europa League also went ahead. This is not uh, a postponement that's coming as a concern of fans. It's coming as a direct consequence of a lack of police inside the UK to cope with the state funeral that is happening on Monday. Why don't you just bring forward the game a few hours? Is that, is that the issue? Is that, is that something that can stop it? How can, how can every game, apart from the Chelsea-Liverpool game at Stamford Bridge, go ahead in London? Doesn't make any sense. And I've got to be completely... I, I, I wasn't going to say anything. I'm sure a lot of you felt it as well. But obviously, the games this weekend were postponed as a mark of respect. And I didn't really understand it. The government uh, shirked away from responsibility and said, it's, it's, you know what? It's not our decision to decide where the sport goes ahead this weekend. It's on you. It's on every single one of the institutions in control of it, the FA, and whatever Rubby's FA is called. Maybe just Rubby FA. It's on you to decide whether it goes ahead. Cricket went ahead. Without a hitch. Minute silence, perfectly observed. Everybody showing their, own res their, their respect to the Queen in their own ways by attending these sporting events. Golf, one day of the PGA was postponed. It was reduced from a 72-hole competition to a 54-hole competition. It went ahead without a hitch and respect was shown. Rugby Union went ahead. And the EFL will go ahead this week with a full schedule. I believe it's a full midweek schedule. So it's not happening at the weekend. But Manchester United's game here against Leeds has been postponed. As I said, the official club statement there. Let me bring that up on screen whilst we have a chat. And the strange thing is, out of the two weekends that were postponed, this one, you can understand the logic behind it. Because there's a lack of police. I personally didn't agree with the fact that the Premier League was cancelled the weekend just gone. And this is already a mad, a, bit, a mad season with the World Cup already coming and taking away you know, that one-month period. 
We're already going to have to make up for those games. And now we've had two postponements. And I, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me personally. The fact that this, all the games in the, in the Premier League in London are going to go ahead. Spurs, half five on Saturday. Brentford, 12 o'clock now on Sunday. The only game in, in, in London that's being cancelled is Chelsea-Liverpool. Or post, not cancelled, but postponed. And now Manchester United, we've got to wait until 2nd of November, I think it is, for our game uh, against City. That's going to be our next Premier League game. Manchester United's game against um, Sharif is going ahead on Thursday in Moldova. And that's it. We're going to have to make up for these two games further down the line. And as of the two, of the two game weeks that have been postponed here, this second one is the one that I can... I can understand to a certain degree. If there aren't enough police and a choice has to be made between football games going ahead and London being safely policed, it's a no-brainer. It's almost like you need more police in the first place. Mm -hmm. But that's uh, a different conversation, probably for a different channel. I personally did not agree with the idea that all games at the weekend just gone should have been postponed. I didn't really understand it. The only reason that they were postponed, it's down as a mark of respect, it was, it was through a fear that football fans somehow wouldn't be able to uphold and show respect in the same way that cricket fans would, or golf fans would, or rugby union fans would. Football fans, though, can't trust them. Can't trust them to show any sort of respect to the Queen. We may as well just cancel it. And now that that's happened, and now that this second game has been postponed, there's going to be a massive... I mean, it's, there's already going to be a fixture pile-up this season. We've got nine games in October. I think we've still got nine games in October. Maybe they'll try and throw another game in October. But our game against Leeds has now been postponed. As I said, of the two game weeks that were postponed, the first one immediately following uh, the death of the Queen, that was out of a mark of respect. This second one here is down to a lack of available leasing. But as I said, Brentford's going ahead. Spurs are going ahead. They're doing this uh, purely because it's, it's Man United against Leeds. I imagine if it was Manchester United against Fulham at Old Trafford. Manchester United against Nottingham Forest at Old Trafford. There probably wouldn't be an issue with it. It's probably to do with the fact that what, what Jeremy Cross has said there the fact that it is a Category A game in the same way that uh, Chelsea's game against Liverpool is being postponed. Down there, as you can see. Chelsea, Liverpool and Manchester United against Leeds. It is what it is, right? I just didn't think... Pers from a personal perspective, I didn't think that f the Premier League should have been postponed at the weekend just gone i think that was a massive opportunity for the, the images and, and the, the powerful videos that would have come from all premier league grounds all championship league one and league two grounds all respecting the queen and holding their own minute silence for her would have been amazing would have been fantastic instead it was just a blackout unless of course you're a fan of cricket or golf. Or rugby union. And that's all coming down to the government's lack of decision-making ability. Moving away from responsibility. Pushing the responsibility of those decisions onto the institutions. And the Premier League has decided... Well, for the second, game, second week, game week in a row, Manchester United's game is going to be postponed. First time it was to do with, like, with um, out of a mark of respect. The second time now, it's due to a lack of policing. Despite games in London going ahead and Manchester being 200 bucks. But you can let me know what you think about that. I just, I, I wanted to bring you the news. I wanted to say my own opinion on what is probably quite a, um, divisive is the wrong word, but uh, certainly a topic will, that will, well, I think, have some sort of debate. You can let me know what you think, but it's the right. I mean, I, in this occasion, as I said, this second one, there's far more logic to it because of a lack of police. But did we really need that first one cancelled? I don't think we did.